My name is Leah Davison. I race with the Cliff Pro team and I ride the Orbea Oys. I'm Catherine Penderel. I ride for the Cliff Pro team and I ride on the Orbea Oys. We're here in Spain going for a ride with Tommy and Leah. I love the Arabea always because it does everything that I want a bike to do. It's an amazing climbing machine, but it's so much fun on the descents and, uh, and everything in between. I feel really comfortable on it, really stable, and it's fast. Soy Tommy Miser, corro para el Bea Factory Team, y uno de los modelos más utilizados este año va a ser el hoy. Bueno, la salida con Lía y con Katherine ha sido bestial. Eh, hemos hecho unos senderos muy revirados, donde la OIT se adapta perfectamente porque es muy corta entre ejes, es muy rápida, entonces las curvas tanto cerradas, abiertas, es muy fácil de conducir y de esta manera en los pequeños baches que, que hemos ido cogiendo, la bici va corriendo mucho y siempre va la bici pegada al suelo, que eso lo que hace es que, que no pierdas nunca velocidad y que estés disfrutando en todo momento. Parece que muchas veces casi sin pedalear la bici corre más que pedaleando, de esta manera te ayuda mucho más, es mucho más cómoda y aparte en las subidas que están bastante rotas y con mucho bache, puedes ir sentado que siempre va traccionando y vas avanzando muy bien. The Orbea Oys is a great race machine, the perfect tool to tackle the World Cups. You know, the World Cups are very technical, very demanding for a bike and the rider, and the Oys is the perfect tool for me to race on the World Cups and go for the wins. I think the Orbea Oise is a great bike for anyone or for any kind of riding because it really excels in such a variety of terrain. The way the suspension is designed is that it's stiff under pedaling, but as soon as you hit aggressive terrain, it's absorbing the terrain and just allowing you to accelerate over things. So I think whether you're someone just that loves climbing or um, really aggressive trails, it really it handles it all beautifully and it's gonna put a smile on your face. Hoy se incorpora la tecnología BUS, que significa que tanto el buje delantero como el buje trasero son más anchos de lo normal, son sobredimensionados, y atrás lleva 148 milímetros y delante 110 milímetros. Esto hace que la bicicleta sea mucho más rígida, las ruedas puedan estar más fuertes y hace que la bicicleta sea mucho más rápida, reactiva y rígida. The way that Orbea has set up the UFO suspension is phenomenal. It provides a very responsive ride. It will absorb any bump that you really throw at it and it really helps um, you know, keep traction on the trail, which is very important. They also have designed it in a way that um, it creates, it's lighter, so it's, it just works seamlessly. We just finished up an awesome ride here in Spain with Tommy and Leah and we just had so much fun pushing the Orbea Oises out there on the trail. They really just hug the corners when you're pushing them into it and uh, you know not being new to this area I felt totally comfortable just diving into any of the trails and uh, just had a great time out there. Today was so much fun riding with Tommy and Catherine. You know, we got to experience Spanish single track and in the beautiful countryside of Spain. And um, yeah, it was just a great experience. Yeah.